Okay, we are at the end of our week talking about raising children. By no means have we covered everything. In fact, we really only just scratched the surface. But today, I want us to look at how we show our love to our children, how we're writing on their lives. You know, when I think about writing on someone's life, I think about after they've died and we put a tombstone and we think so hard, what are the right words to capture that person's life? Is it, you know, great father, loving mother? But whatever it is we write at that point, it's too late. That person is gone. But every day we are writing as parents on our children, on their lives, on their spirit. By the way, we keep our word to them. By the way, we love them, encourage them, um, the model that we show them. So Isaiah 54, 13 says, our children will be taught of the Lord and great will be their peace. I love that verse. I pray that over my children all the time. But you know what? The opposite is also true. When our children are not taught of the Lord, great will be their confusion. We don't want that. We want our children to have great peace. So let's look at a few ways that we can show our love and invest in our children. So affection, affirmation, and attention. Well, we all know what affection is. That we show them love, okay? Affirmation, are we encouraging them? Are we building them up? Can we catch them doing something right? Look for the good things that your children do. Don't always be correcting them. Don't always be showing them where they messed up, but look for ways to build them up, to encourage them. Attention, give them your time. Look at what they're doing. Even if they're showing you the same stick figure drawing for the hundredth time, care about what's important to them. Listen. Speak God's word over them. Take time for them. Pray for them. Care about what's important to them. It may not be important to you. That's okay. It's important to them. And you making time for them is what's important. God's plan is for your children to be a gift to you. And for them to be a gift to you, you have to spend time with them. He chose you to be your children's parent. He could have given that child to anyone on the planet. He chose you because there's something in your DNA, your unique gifts and talents that makes you the right person to raise that son or daughter to be the world changer that God wants them to be. But if you don't give that gift from yourself, you are robbing your child of everything God expected them to have. You are shortcutting the heritage that God planned for them. All right, God's faithful. His promises will always come to pass. He said he'll pour out his Holy Spirit on our sons and daughters. He will still do that. But you know what? We are his hands extended. And if we're too busy, we are limiting what he wants to do in our children. I'm talking about raising influencers, mighty men and women of God. I'm not just saying, you know, children and however they turn out. I'm saying we are investing in the next generation. For that to happen, we have to raise the standard in our lives, right? We already talked about that. Our children are watching us. We are modeling for them what it means to be a Christ follower, what it means to be a man or a woman of integrity. They're looking at us. So our lowest standard is their highest standard. So if we want to raise that standard, we have to start with raising our standard. So what am I encouraging you? As you go the second mile, make God the goal. Be holy as he is holy. Don't just compare yourself to someone else and think, oh, well, I'm doing better than them. No, God is our standard because we want everything God wants for our kids and that they would be our legacy in the next generation.